today we're going to show you how to set up a dark food photography shoot and um, you'll see everything you're going to need and most of which you probably already have lying around your studio or home. It's really affordable, the process is really easy, um, you'll have to maneuver and tweak a little bit but other than that it's a really simple process and you get some amazing images from it. All right, so you're gonna need three black foam boards. Um, size doesn't necessarily matter as long as you can control the entire setup around your subject. Um, I've got basically a two by three and a half um, on each side, and then I've got a larger piece for my background. Um, you can also use a different background if you don't want to use the foam board. Um, spring clamps you can get at Home Depot for. I think they're like 90 something cents um, so those are super cheap I would just have those on hand anyways uh, tripod I have a, a Manfrotto with a ball head that I use pretty regularly uh, a level which is just a shoe mount level on top of the camera which comes in really handy for making sure all your lines are straight uh, tethering cord which I which I use, uh, you can either use one from tethering tools or just a, a simple tethering USB cord which goes from your camera into your laptop. Um, computer, so you can monitor what you're watching. It's easier than trying to shoot this through your LCD and your camera, although not required at all. You can definitely just use your camera LCD. Um, you need to be near a window for natural light, otherwise you could manipulate Artificial light, it's just a little easier and it's its actually more beautiful when you use the natural light and you can diffuse that with transparency paper if you have it, not necessary if you don't. Um, and then light stands, basically to help hold up the boards and if you have any kind of key light or, or any other light you want to bring into the situation. But for the sake of getting started today, uh, we're just using window light. Okay, as for shooting, um, that is all personal preference. Um, what I did for the sake of this tutorial is um, my camera, I did vertical and horizontal. The image that you see here is horizontal, shot on a 45 degree angle. And I use ISO 100. Um, I was, my aperture was at 3.2 and a 30th of a second. Um, for shutter speed and that way you get a super crisp image you get some good bokeh and you have a little room to play and post okay so when you go to edit this image uh, the first thing I do is I raise the sharpening and to um, compensate for that I uh, enhance the luminance under noise reduction go to profile remove chromatic aberration um, and then I'm vignetting this as well. I'm moving everything, the amounts and the midpoints to the left. Um, I've created some presets for um, my brushes. Uh, right now I'm gonna lighten the fruit, bump up the exposure, and then I'm gonna go to shiny fruit, which is a preset that I made. And I'm going to just paint a little bit onto those apples again just to make them pop a little bit more. And I'm going to use that same tool uh, to go over the wood now. I'm going to increase the size of my brush and I'm going to paint the wood around the foreground, bump up exposure on that again, and then paint over uh, one or two more times just to kind of really bring out the, the wood tones uh, so it's not lost in space. And um, that's essentially it and that is a super quick edit um just to give you that look now obviously you're going to want to play with this and you're going to want to make it your own but that is what we did and that's uh, a good way to get started in shooting dark food photography